Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am John Lewandowski, your host for tonight. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Today, the Nashville Predators took on the Winnipeg Jets. In the season series, uh, on the game of November 9th, Winnipeg won 6-3 over Nashville. On the game November 26th, Nashville beat Winnipeg 3-2. On March 13th, Nashville beat Winnipeg 4-2. And that brings us to today's game on April 9th here. So let's get into it. Shots on goal in the first period, Nashville outshoots Winnipeg 14 to 11. In the second period, Nashville outshoots Winnipeg 22 to 5. In the third period, Nashville outshoots Winnipeg 12 to 4. And in total, Nashville outshoots Winnipeg 48 to 22. Uh, the faceoffs uh, were pretty close. Uh, Nashville edged it out with 52.6% to Winnipeg's 47.4%. On the power play, Winnipeg goes 1 for 3 with 13 penalty minutes, while Nashville goes 0 for 4 with 11 penalty minutes. Nashville out hit Winnipeg 26 to 17. Winnipeg out blocked Nashville 17 to 13. Winnipeg had 10 giveaways to Nashville 6. And Nashville had 12 takeaways to Winnipeg 6. Now coming into this game, the Predators needed a point to clinch a playoff spot. So let's get into the scoring. In the first period at the 405 mark, Nashville gets on the board with a goal from Tommy Novak. Scoring his 16th of the year, assisted by Shearwood, his 16th. Then at the 6.51 mark, Winnipeg gets on the board with a goal from Gabriel Velarde, scoring his 20th of the year on the power play, assisted by Shifley, his 44th, and Morrissey, his 55th. Then at the 8.19 mark, Winnipeg, Scores again with a goal from Mark Shifley, his 24th of the year, assisted by Toffoli, his 21st. Then at the 12.46 mark, Winnipeg scores again with a goal from Dylan DeMello, his third of the season, assisted by Barron, his seventh. That was it for the first period. In the second period, there was no scoring, which brings us to the third period. In the third period, at the 7.34 mark for Nashville, uh, Spencer Stasny scored his second of the season, assisted by Yossi, his 58th, and Shearwood, his 17th. That made it 3-2 to two Winnipeg at that point. Then at the 9.41 mark for Nashville, Ryan O'Reilly scores his 26th of the year, assisted by Yossi, his 59th, and Nyquist, his 50th, tying the game at 3. That was all the scoring for the third, which means we go to overtime, and it also means the Preds pick up at least one point and clinch the playoffs tonight. So in overtime tonight, at the 152 mark for Winnipeg, Kyle Connor scores his 32nd of the year, assisted by Shifley, his 45th, and Pionk, his 25th. That made it 4-3 Winnipeg. Predators fall to the Jets in overtime. However, they get the much-needed one point to clinch a playoff berth. Um, I thought they played all right tonight. They, uh, they didn't look the greatest in the first and second period, though, at times. But in the third, they really came out and played well and helped force overtime. And unfortunately, we came up just short tonight. But... The good takeaway, again, is that we got the much-needed point and are in the playoffs officially. Um, I think that is it. And um, we will see you back.
Sorry about that. We will see you back on Friday for our next show. Um, hopefully, um, Daniel will be back on Friday. I am not positive, but it's looking like hopefully he will be. But if not, I will be here to give you reactions and stats and the score. So I hope everyone has a good night. Thank you for watching.